Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, my name is Marco and today we are watching Vinland Saga season 2, episode number 40. And as I said in previous video, as Kanute's invasion of Kettle's farm wasn't enough, we now have a different plot thread regarding Arnheid and her family, which is very heartbreaking because it seems like this guy Gardar and Ar Arnheid had a child based on what we saw in opening or ending and it's just so tragic man it's so tragic she is beloved by Ketil and he uh, deems her the most important person in his life Einar is also in for a heartbreak obviously now he even learned that she has a husband so it's going to be pretty rough for him as well, but of course, the one who is going through it right now the most is definitely Arnhead herself. We saw how her ex expression changed when she saw her husband. It's really messed up. And Snake and his group cannot let this happen. They are guards, right? They need to do their job and protect the farm, and that includes slaves as well. So, I believe that Snake is going to step up and try to fight Gardar, and I'm really worried considering that he is beast himself. I was joking how he's a savage Giga Chat version of Einar because of similar hair color and eye color, but yeah. So, the thing is, I don't know, uh, did he have a knowledge that Arnhead is really close to where he was and slave? Because why did it took so long? I guess he was chained and the owner was known as someone who didn't treat his slaves well, right? And uh, Gardar himself said all those insults, everything that I injured, I'm going to make you pay back for that. So it made it seem like he was slave for a really, really long period. So that's why I, I am wondering, was he always trying to escape from day one? Was he plotting to escape? And it just happened that he got opportunity or maybe a weapon or something to release himself? Or maybe he heard something. Maybe he heard from someone named Arnhead and that he she is close by, so... He decided to go after her. I don't really know, but I really liked how they did that scene at the beginning. Uh, they showed us straight up what's happening without context. And once we learned, it was so satisfying, man. We have stuff with old man Sverkel, of course. He's gone senile, which is really unfortunate. And as I said, when you have an old person senile and having trouble speaking, walking, moving in general, it's just so sad. But yeah, it was so rough, him falling down, wanting to go to harvest wheat, he wants to die on farm, he has lived on farm his whole life and he wants to die there rather than in bed, and this is the second time we saw him collapse, he already collapsed once before when Snake picked him up. And you can tell that Snake really rocks with him. He's really caring about him and Kettle probably uh, purposely sent a Snake to where his father is, right? So their dynamic is more of a father and son than what he has with Kettle. And before that, we even saw the scene with Thorfinn listening in uh, to Snake reading the Bible to Sverkel and... Uh, Arnheid is so hard working, she prepared this huge meal, it's like a feast and everyone was laughing, having a great time and when you see something like that, you just know that something is about to go down and that it's only a temporary happiness, man. So right now, I am really worried for what's about to happen, but let's dive right into it. I am so excited, guys. Without further ado, let's jump into episode number 14. Let's begin. Okay, everything is ready, let's begin. Oh yes, the new OP. It's so good, man. I will become boring because how much I praise this, but it's so good. Oh yeah, and this last shot. Ah, what a nice touch. Perfect way to end the 
opening. All right, guys, here we go. Freedom. Okay, he he know that he know he knew that he was on Kettlesworth. Wow, so he probably found out recently. I was wondering about that. Yeah, she can't believe what is happening in front of her eyes right now. It's her husband. Yeah, look at Taylor, man. Is that their child? Oh my god. Judging by her reaction, what happened to their child? All three of us. Oh boy, is that snake? Yep, that snake. Oh my god, Fox and Badger, they're attacking! Yo, he cut the horse! As well! Oh my god, poor Narcade, man! What the fuck is going on? To be honest, he does seem like he lost his mind. Oh my god, he's confirming. Split his head wide open. Protect her with her if it's your life. Oh shit. And he's not even saying that he isn't. Can you really blame Gardar but also like Einar? Oh my god, bro! Torfin is stopping him. <laughs> Bro, is such a good guy, man. That is true love, bro. He wants to help her husband because he wants her to be free. Oh shit! Boy. Alive! Bro, is Snake really capable of doing that? Ooh. Oh my god, Snake is insane! He's dodging everything! Oh my god, that was so close! Yeah, Thorfinn didn't sense that escalate energy for nothing! Nope! Yep. Wow, he's way too aggressive. Oh my god. Yeah, Snake is insane. Snake is so smart, man. He's not going to kill him, at least. Gardar is incredibly strong, but he was only going on offensive non stop. And Snake noticed that. Arnheim scream. What the fuck is even going on? She's covering her ears. Oh, this is rough, man. This is so rough. After he finally reached his wife, he gets captured. He gets captured again. Oh wow. In other words, he's doing what he is being paid to do. But it's so fucking sad, man. Please, somebody give her a hug or something, man. That's not your husband. 
or he was in rage mode or but I do wonder what happened to their child. Arnheid seemed like really shocked when he brought up their child. Maybe their child died and maybe Gardar knows that but because he lost his mind he went crazy. It's Einar, yep, he's very nervous right now. He's tapping his feet. She's calming him down. もうすぐ。Sit still and wait for the storm to pass. Wow. あの子と。好きじゃないんですか。好きよ。結婚なんて親同士が決めるものだけど、彼のことになっても何もしないよりました。そうだろ、トルビン。But she said that he was a kind guy. We saw him smiling in the opening. Lost my son because of pots. What? Yes, please. Oh my god. And Sverkel is awake. He's listening. So they're from Sweden. Yutaka Oh boy. And of course he is happening. They joined the battle for it. Of course. Which is probably catalyst for what was about to happen. So they didn't really need it so much. She was trying to talk him out of it, but... Will upset the balance of the power. So they don't want to let the other side have it. Wait, what? Their village will become wealthy. Damn. He really loved them. Please don't tell me that they got attacked while the men were away. They probably, if that happened, they probably had that information. It wasn't them. Holy shit, man.
Oh my god, man! <laughs> Imagine seeing your child taken away and you're so powerless to do anything, bro. I was afraid of him. So there is a possibility that their child is at least alive. Yeah, look at he's a completely different person. He's the storm itself now. <laughs> oh my god. I must protect my child. <gasps> She's pregnant, bro! What is it with Ketilo? <laughs> Oh my god, what is happening? And knowing that King Kanuta is coming, man. Uh, what a tragic fucking fate! So they didn't even get caught and enslaved at the same time, right? It just happens that they were so close to each other. Arnhe thought that she won't even see him in her life, probably, and her child as well. Yatli was taking, taken in front of her eyes, man. And now she has another child coming inside of her. Kettle's child. And she, after all that she went through, she, she still has sanity to think about the whole situation and see the big picture and decide what would be for the best. And I fucking hate that King Kanute is coming here right now. And her saying that the child can live here peacefully, man. Her life is nothing but a tragedy, bro. Oh, this is insane. Oh my god! <laughs> the way fire lit up when she remembered her son. Oh, Jesus Christ. Old man, what is she planning to do? <laughs> he's still, he's still fighting, man. <laughs> but it's okay if he heard something like that. So he knows that his grandson or granddaughter is on way. Oh my god, bro, she is so good. Bro, she is like Einar. They're the same. They're such a good people, bro. And she still wants to go and treat his wounds. I trembled as I hid. There is no happy lives in Vinland Saga. That's young Kettle. Wow! Swerkel wasn't. So they... <laughs> Norse men will be disgusted. And it would explain a lot why Ketil and Sverkel don't really rock with each other that much. Oh shit, there is more. He was shot. Oh my god, the writing of this show. 
And the fact that he hates wealth and that his son Ketil is also expanding his property and everything, it can only lead to tragic ending. <laughs> She died as well. It leaves scars behind. 100% man. Scars that last until you die. To <laughs> that piano though. She's going to where Garda is. What a woman. The fact that she's still sane after all that happened to her. Is it over? The shot that we saw right now, literally. I love this part so much. Wow, guys. Incredibly depressing episode. Arnheim's life is so tragic, man. All of these characters are going through hell, literally. And this is only, like few characters that we are following in that time period, it's unimaginable how many tragic fates they were. And Thorfinn's reaction to uh, Ironhead's story was also interesting because he knows that he himself contributed to some of the tragic stories that happened as well. The writing is so damn good. Arnheid was afraid of Garda because he looks like a completely different man. Of course, slavery changed and there was a chance for Thorfinn to end up like him as well, right? If he struggled and continued to fight, right? But because of uh, Askeladd's death and all the traumatic events that happened, he went in a bit different direction, right? He stopped caring for his life and he became obedient. But Gardar, uh, it seems like he found out that Arnheid is still alive recently. That's the way I understood it, but of course, it's not still confirmed. How many years were they apart? And uh, when did he learn that Arnheid? Ironhead is alive. So she lost her child. Did they took him away? Would they do that? I don't know if they killed him. It's kind of hard to tell. The way I saw it was that they took him away from her. But they maybe killed him because like, he was very young. I doubt that those band of Vikings would care about raising a child. Maybe. Her scream when seeing her son being taken away, it literally like made my heart hurt, bro. I don't know how to describe it. It's a very, very unpleasant, uh, unpleasant feeling, man. It's like it's happening to someone I know and I love, man. It's, it's crazy how good this show is. And she's afraid of Garda. Because he thinks that her son is with her. He is the storm, as she said, and we need to wait for storm to pass. But what about King Carnutes storm? That's coming really fast. She is pregnant with Ketil. She wants to raise a child. It's like she's moving on to a different life but king kanute is going to attack man there won't 
most likely be chance for peaceful life on this farm. But I do want to say that we have Snake and Torgil on the farm. Snake is insane. There is no doubt in my mind. I can freely put Snake in the same category as Torkel, Askelad and Thors. He is up there for sure. No wonder that Thorfinn sensed Askelad energy from him. Gardar is insanely powerful. He was in a battle 3 against 1 against Badger, Fox and Lizard. He injured Badger and Fox, he killed the Lizard. They were running away from him. And Snake says, I will capture him without killing him. And he proceeds to do so, man. He is nasty, bro. Snake is a really, really cool addition to season 2. He is one of my favorite characters. But it was still conflicting because I know that this guy, Gardar, <laughs> yeah, he left with those people to fight for Iron. He left her wife and child defenseless. But what he did was also for them he had their best interest in mind as well he was saying i'm doing this for you and my son so that we can become wealthier and it just sucks as i said all around for everyone involved i definitely understand gardar but it really appears that he's no longer that same man and that he lost his sanity and Ardhade is pregnant with Ketil and was planning to try and get another chance, right? And imagine how she feels after she saw Gardar, knowing that she's pregnant and that she was planning this, right? And after she talked to Sverkel, she still proceeds to go and visit Gardar and reads his wound. That's why I said she is exactly like Einar, they would be perfect match, man. They're both so good, man. Like, everyone needs people like Arnhild and Einar in their lives, bro. And it's true love, right? Einar was ready to take Gardar's side and attack Snake because he cares for Arnhild. He doesn't care if he doesn't end up with her. That's true love. And those words, if you love it, let it go, right? Were so true in this situation. He was instantly ready to give up on him and the gap with Arnhild, right? But to make her feel the best, right? To reunite her with her husband. He thought that that would be her wish. It was before her story that she was telling to Thorfinn and Einar and Sverkel was listening of course which now shines the light on why Ketil and Sverkel had have, they still have a decent relationship I can't lie so Ketil was in, was in love with a girl and another dude who was more pow powerful and wealthy from another village <sighs> was in love with her as well so Sverkel also waited for the storm to pass, right? He didn't want to fight. Everyone knew that he would lose and that he would potentially lose what he had in his life even. So he decided to give that girl to the man, what was his name? Ebe or Ede or something. And Ketil was of course devastated because he was ready to fight, but Sverkel no, they stood no chance, so... <sighs> They traded that girl for peace, I guess. Which is yet another example that a woman had it so rough, man. Like, imagine that being, living, breathing, uh, being just like everyone else, but you are not in control or anything, and your wishes don't count at all, man. Like, fuck, bro. It's so tragic. It was an incredible episode much needed episode. Arnhead is also one of the characters that I really like. Man. 
I will end the video here for today guys, thank you so much for watching, I hope that you enjoyed, if you did please consider subscribing, leave a like, comment, all that good stuff as always, check out my Patreon page if you want to see full and early reactions, I will be seeing you very soon with another video, until then, take care and have a nice day, see ya guys.